Fisherman finds uninhabited island. When he goes ashore, his face turns pale. Elias, a seasoned fisherman with decades of experience on the sea, thought he'd seen it all. But during a recent fishing trip, he stumbled upon an unknown island not charted on any of his maps. Moments after stepping onto the shoreline, his face drained of color. With trembling hands, he quickly dialed 911. However, his call was not coming through. He checked his phone and realized that there was no signal on the island. What was he going to do now? He had two options, leave right now and go as far away from this island as possible, or stay and try to figure out what happened here. You see, what he found on the island was something that terrified him. It was unlike anything that he had never seen before, only in movies, but that didn't count, of course. As he looked around, he realized that he might not be alone there. However, that wasn't what bothered him the most. While he slowly explored the shore, keeping an eye out for anyone or anything appearing, suddenly, he felt something crack under his foot. At first, he thought it was probably just a twig or something. He could not believe this, but he had just stepped on a bone. The sky had gotten dark, and the strong wind was making waves on the surface of the ocean. A storm was brewing. Elias's boat wasn't in the best condition anymore, and he wasn't sure whether it would last the entire trip back home in this weather. So, the decision was made. He was staying. As the rain slowly started falling from the sky, Elias looked around and realized that he needed to go inside the forest. Elias was glad that he had brought his knife with him. It made him feel just a little bit safer knowing that he could protect himself if he needed to. He wandered around, looking for a place to hide, and he couldn't help but be amazed by all the beauty that surrounded him. He continued his journey deeper inside the forest until he finally spotted something where he could hide from the rain. It was a man-made hut, constructed of leaves and broken branches. He decided just to do it. He ran to the hut and sat down under it. He hoped the storm would pass soon and he could go home. While he waited for the storm to blow over, he kept looking around, scared that someone would sneak up on him and attack him. He never should have ignored those warnings he had found at the beach. Sculptures with warning signs. You see, the things he had seen were some weird kind of sculptures with messages on them. Whoever had made those signs would probably not be afraid to attack him, and he felt like he was being watched the entire time. Luckily, the rain soon stopped and the skies cleared up. The sun shone through the trees and the chirping of birds filled the air. However, it was then that Elias heard something that made the blood freeze in his veins. Footsteps. He ran away from the sound as fast as he could. He didn't want this person or these persons to see him because, quite honestly, he didn't know if he would survive that. However, that feeling didn't last for long. As he looked around, he realized that he had no idea where he was or where he had come from, which also meant that he had no idea of how to return to the beach. He tried to calm himself down and think of a plan. Surely there had to be a way to make it out of here. If I just walk into a straight line, I'll have to get to the edge of the forest at some point, he said. And once he made it out of the forest, which hopefully wouldn't take too long, he would go looking for his boat and leave this island. He tried to stay positive, but that was difficult, hopeless, as he looked around, trying to determine which direction to go in. So, he just started walking in a random direction and decided to stick to it. Eventually, he would find his way out, of course. But this moment right here was where he made a crucial mistake, which would only lead him deeper into the forest. Elias started to get a bit worried when he realized that he had been walking for about half an hour. He failed to notice that it was slowly getting dark now, and it wouldn't take long before he couldn't see a thing anymore. Following the stranger, Elias's curiosity was piqued. Who was this man? And more importantly, did he know a way off the island? Elias decided to follow the stranger discreetly. He kept a safe distance, ensuring he was always hidden behind trees or bushes. As Elias continued his pursuit, he noticed peculiar markings on some of the trees. It became evident that these were the man's way of navigating the dense forest. Suddenly, the tranquility of the forest was shattered. The man had stopped and turned around. He had an arrow knocked and aimed directly at him. Who are you? The man demanded, his voice echoing the threat of his weapon. I'm just a fisherman who stumbled upon this island. All I want is to find my way back to my boat and leave. How did you find this place? Who sent you? Elias could sense the deep-rooted distrust in the man's voice. It was evident that the island held secrets, and its inhabitants were wary of outsiders. I swear, it was pure accident, Elias responded. 
before he could react, his hands were tied securely behind his back with a rough vine. The man gestured for Elias to walk ahead of him. Emerging from the thick trees, Elias was met with a sight that left him in awe. A sprawling camp lay before him, dotted with tents and huts made of natural materials. Elias realized he had stumbled upon a secret haven, and his journey on the island was far from over. He felt dozens of eyes on him, each trying to decipher the story of the outsider who had breached their hidden sanctuary. From the crowd, a woman with a commanding presence stepped forward. Her gaze was sharp, her posture confident. Who are you? She demanded, her voice echoing authority. Taking a deep breath, Elias began his tale, hoping they'd understand his innocent intentions. The leader nodded, signaling two men who led Elias to a corner of the camp. They pointed to a makeshift tent, indicating he should rest there for the night. Elias's mind raced, wondering what the next day would bring. The following morning, Elias awoke to the rhythmic routines of the islanders. He watched as men and women expertly cast nets into the sea, pulling in bountiful catches. Children assisted in gathering fruits and vegetables, while others crafted tools and mended huts. The leader, after conferring with a council of elders, turned her gaze back to Elias. We've decided to test your sincerity. If you truly mean no harm, you will prove it. Elias was presented with a series of tasks. First, he was to mend a damaged fishing net. Next, he was to gather specific fruits and herbs from the forest. Lastly, he was to light a fire using only the primitive tools provided. Each task was designed not just to test his skills, but his patience, resourcefulness, and respect for their way of life. Each step of Elias's journey was a testament to the islander's resilience and adaptability. Despite the sweat on his brow and the scratches on his arms, Elias pressed on. He remembered the intricate patterns of the fishing net, carefully selecting the right plants and patiently striking stones until sparks flew. The leader approached Elias with a solemn expression. Your final task, she began, is to find your way back to the beach from where you came, without any guidance. The island's vastness and dense foliage made it easy to lose one's way, but he nodded in acceptance, determined to prove himself one last time. After what felt like hours, the familiar sound of waves crashing reached Elias's ears. Pushing through a final thicket, he found himself on the very beach where his adventure began. Relief washed over him as he saw his boat anchored in the distance. He had successfully navigated the island's challenges. Upon his return to the camp, Elias was met with a mix of admiration and skepticism. The islanders gathered, discussing his achievements and failures in hushed tones. The leader, after a long pause, finally spoke. Elias, you have shown respect, understanding, and resilience. We have decided to let you go. As Elias prepared to leave, the islanders presented him with supplies, fresh fruits, water, and fish for his journey. They also gave him a handcrafted pendant, a symbol of the island's spirit. With the supplies secured, Elias set to work repairing his boat, using techniques he'd observed during his stay. The wind caught the sails, and Elias's boat began its journey back to the known world, leaving behind the enigmatic island and its even more mysterious inhabitants. The vast ocean around him seemed like a metaphor for the endless possibilities life offered. The familiar coastline emerged on the horizon, bringing with it a rush of relief. As Elias anchored his boat at the familiar dock, the weight of his journey truly hit him. The Elias that returned was not the same man who had set out on that fateful fishing trip.